Well, right now, members of the LGBTQ plus community in Tennessee are outraged by the state legislature. Now, the two bills targeting the community are on its way to Governor Bill Lee. The first is the anti drag show bill, and the second is the gender affirming health care bill. ABC 24's Brittany Moncrease is live in Midtown where community members held a rally earlier today. Brittany, now I know it was rainy outside, but it seemed like a lot of people showed up. That's right, Pepper. You know, the rain did not stop the crowd here that was here just a little while ago. And the message that they wanted to send is when they attack, we stand up and fight back. You heard that screaming throughout uh, the area here in Midtown. And so they are really wanting to fight back against these two bills that are making its way to Governor Lee's desk. We should have rights, but it's going past us fighting for our rights. It's us fighting for our own day to day experiences. The day to day of just being yourself. Jasmine Tasaki runs We Care Tennessee, a nonprofit advocating for transgender and LGBTQ plus individuals. People who are transgender, we live in fear all the time, especially somewhere like Memphis. And Jasmine says that fear has only increased as Tennessee legislators have passed two bills targeting the LGBTQ plus community. The first is the anti drag bill, banning drag shows that are considered sexually explicit from public spaces and places where minors are present. A person can literally be walking down the street and if they are deemed to be in drag and are being flamboyant, they can be arrested, right? Just for being themselves. The second bill would ban some gender affirming health care for minors, such as hormone therapy and puberty blockers, which for some is a step backwards. For the anti-drag bill, a first offense would be a misdemeanor crime, and if violated, people could be sentenced between one and six years in prison. If the gender affirming health care bill becomes law, the bill would officially take effect this summer and give existing patients until March 31st of 2024 to stop treatment. Folks in our communities, especially in younger generations, are now feeling like they can be authentic of who they are. When folks are authentic, they have the ability to have bodily autonomy. Phil Kabuchi helps run Inclusion Tennessee. Since 2015, we have actually had the most anti-LGBTQ bills in the entire United States that have passed. We are a state that continually says to a minority population in this state that you are not welcome, that you are not wanted. That feeling of rejection is what many in the LGBTQ community have been fighting against for centuries. We didn't just appear after Stonewall in 1969. We've been here. We continue to live authentically in our truth. We've supported so many movements for so many different communities. It's time for people to stand up for us and support us in those same ways. And another concern that many people here at today's rally had was what they called the gender to prison pipeline. And that was described as they say if these bills were to pass and become law, then that could increase the chances of more transgender individuals ending up in prison at some point in their lifetime. Live in Midtown, I'm Brittany Moncrease.